for one. Dave here, K. <laughs> Dave here, K. Dave K here, whatever. With my and we're going on the cruise. Woo. I like Dory. We're going on the cruise tonight. Are you ready to cruise? I'm so ready. <laughs> Let's cruise. Mike, how are you feeling for it? So excited, so excited. I oh, love yeah. cruising and now we get to do it. Just driving there, it feels amazing. What are you looking forward to early on in our adventure? On the first day here, what are you looking forward to? First day, the food, looking forward to that, the shows, seeing our new room, and of course, those ocean view jacuzzis. I want to try and prioritize that today, because it is our first day. Hopefully we can cross your fingers. Definitely, yes. And you know, I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna hit lunch first, right? Yes. So we'll have to see if we go to Cabana's, or if we can make that sit-down restaurant, but I'm sure either way, it will be delicious. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Cruise Woo. day one. All right. Yeah. Are you ready for our latest and greatest cruise adventure on the fantasy? I'm so ready. Does it feel real yet? Not quite, no, actually not at all. Yeah. Now that I think about it, it actually does not feel real yeah. at all. Just yeah. driving around on a Saturday, right. gonna be good, but this, this is, it's gonna get really real, really fast. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, honestly, to me, it feels less real now than it did like last night. Last night I was like, all right, last night's sleep before yeah. we're going, anticipation. This morning's just felt kind of normal, but it's gonna feel super real in a minute. I feel like once we see the ship, once we like park, park at Port Canaveral, that's like when the waves hit you a different yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. And stepping on. Stepping on, of course. Gonna be a huge one. Yes. Sitting down for that first meal. Yes. Oh yes, so excited for even checking in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, checking in's yeah, a big those, one too. Uh, lanyards. Lanyards, the oh. silver. My last time is oh. silver. My last time is silver. I was gonna say, do you get a gold one this time? Uh, actually, no. next time I get the next gold. time. Okay, yep. okay, sounds mm -hmm. good. Looking forward to it all. Super excited for another cruise adventure. For me, it's been a year and a half. Our last cruise wow. was March 2018 wow. with Mike too on long. the. Uh, wonder. Wonder. Yes. yes, that was a nice one though. Oh, the I double love that dip. One. Oh yes. Surprise double dip. Yes, and Mike's last one was this March. Yes. Yes, that was the Marvel. Oh yes, it was. Marvel Day at Sea. Amazing. So, are you excited for your next cruise? I am. Special theming too. Halloween on the high seas. Oh yes. Cool. Let's do that cruise. And we can see the ships from here. Really super excited for it. Not sure if you can see it from here, but we are getting that first view. Mike, is it feeling that much more real yet? It's so much more real. Like that's the ship we're about to get on and spend an entire week on. You can see the aqueduct right there, the slide that goes all the way around. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so much to look forward to. Uh, it's exciting for oh. sure. Oh my gosh, can't believe it. It's it's been. It feels like it's been a really long time for me. It has. Yeah. It has. It's been too long for yeah. you. And then it definitely uh, it brings out the sunscreen in your eyes. It does. I got sunscreen in there. I'm telling you, it's so much sunscreen. <laughs> Gotta watch out for. I'm serious. Ah, there it is. So ready. So ready. You can see it in the background as wow. Mike is making the turn. Yes. Woo! Beautiful. Love it. Let's do it. Let's do this. All right. And the Disney Fantasy is right there behind us. Wow. I think you can probably see it. Yeah, just barely between that back seat with Dumbo on the back. I've never been on this one. It's the newest ship, right? It is the uh, the most recent one, yes. The most recent one as of the time of filming. And cruising. And cruising. Yes. Yeah, you know, know the Disney wish one. is coming. Right, coming That's right around the corner, yeah. for sure. I'm so, so excited for this. It uh, does, it feels that much more real. It does. Yeah. Now it was a little challenging to try to find driving where you were gonna go. It was like asking us which, you know, which terminals we were on. So make sure you're watching those signs. And then we went in the direction of eight and 10. Right. And then we only saw down that row that was eight, not 10, but we were able to make that turn. Just make sure you're really watching those signs as you're going. Uh, traffic can be stop and go. 
So just again, make sure you're keeping all that in mind, but really, really excited for this one. Gonna board here. We're gonna take a look at the menu maybe, see what our options are for Ooh. lunch. Is it gonna be the sit down or will we go up to Cabana, save ourselves some time, maybe more hot tub time. Either way, it's gonna be an amazing adventure. Oh. So excited. Let's do it. And we have parked for our adventure. So exciting. It was a little bit complicated with some of the transportation logistics. Uh, there were a lot of different cast members or team members or just people who work here asking us, you know, where we're going, that kind of thing, helping us navigate around. We almost thought we went the wrong way to drop off instead of parking, but it seemed to all be the same general direction. Yes. And now we are about to go through security, go up to check in, and we will be off. Are you ready for it? I'm so ready. Let's oh, do it. Oh yeah, let's do it. I'm super excited. This is this is that moment. This is the moment. The moment ah. before we're actually there. You can feel it. I can feel it. Oh, it feels so good. Yep. Next stop is check-in. Amazing. Let's do it. One last look before we step in there. The Disney Cruise banner logo here, right before we step into security. Unreal feeling. So, so excited to be back. It's been a long time. And we made it to the line for check-in. How's it feeling, Mike? Amazing. More and more real every moment. We are still waiting to check in. It might be a little while because we are in the silver boarding group. It's 11.09. Right, silver boarding group? Well, silver and gold are the same. When you get platinum, it's a different boarding group. I got you. It's because we checked in. I checked this in like at 12 something. And oh. Yeah. It was a check in thing. I, I should have checked in earlier, but that's my fault. That's okay. All good. We'll Sounds get on good. there. Looking forward to it. Oh, yeah. First check in's at 11 30, so about 20 minutes from now. Perfect. Okay, Mickey. How's it going? All right, we're here. Yes. Okay, so excited for it. Glad to be back. Yes, we're, we got red, white, and blue. Is that what we're doing? We got the blue. Hi, buddy. There you go. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Have fun. See you soon. Thanks. All right. Yes. First pick with Mickey. Woo. Complete. Gotta love it. Ah. Now this is the way to fully embrace, right? It's another wave. Helps you sort of ease into that next wave yes. of cruising. Oh my gosh. So excited for it. I feel like this is the way to experience. What do you think, Mike? I'm so excited. I'm looking at this ship. First time we've never stepped foot inside this ship before. So this to me is unbelievably exciting. Yeah. The completion of the Grand Slam. Wow. Yeah. So, so excited for this one. The newest, again, the newest. And that's pretty exciting for me because, again, I like those hot tubs on the oh, ends. Yes. Oh, yeah. I like the Sensa Spa. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. From, actually, I think that might be the rainforest room right up there. Take oh, a look. Wow. Can you see it up there? Maybe. Yeah, that curve right there. I think that's the rainforest room. Maybe. It, it feels so much, so much more real right uh, now. Oh my God. This is this is definitely the way to start the feeling. Yes. Like, okay, we're going on this. Yes. You know, you want right to here. stand out here for a while, look at it before you walk on, just really embrace that feeling. It's amazing. Mm -mm -mm. Amazing. Love it. Wow. You know, Mike, you were saying that you could see the rainforest room from here. Yes. But what I'm seeing is what looks like the little porch thing for cabanas get I some think food that's that one. Oh, okay that's, that's that one back there yeah i'm just yeah, thinking about the food one. oh the food the food option i'm thinking about food oh too. yeah let me tell you like looking at those either it's one of those probably mike's probably right it's probably that one that one but it looks like food i can't wait oh yeah i gotta eat ice cream too ice cream too. in the middle area yeah. there you go one of the most delicious options out there disney cruise line food love it love it we are out here again enjoying some of the last fresh air that we are not embracing on the ship. There you go. So the last fresh air off the ship. Then we'll get some great fresh air on the ship. Yes. But just enjoying the views here, seeing that Norwegian behind us. Yep. And our ship right here, the Disney Fantasy. Beautiful. Really looking forward to it. So much to experience, you know, so much to see and do. Yes. Really, really excited for this one. Yeah, I, I, the fantasy. Fantasy, you know? fantasy. I'm like so, so ready for it. Yep. Let's do it. And as we're here relaxing, it was a little bit toasty outside, so we brought it inside. Another six boarding groups to go. We are just waiting here inside. You can see the Mickey ears right there that we'll take and, uh, and board from. You know, Mike and I just relaxing back here. We can see the numbers. There's a view uh, back there, so we got a nice view here. And just kind of reflecting on those Mickey ears that we're going to walk through that really sort of celebrates the entrance to yeah. that cruise. I am so, so excited for I'm it. super excited. The tension is just building as yeah. we're watching that. I'm just watching the boarding group thing being like, okay, 14. What next. else we got? What's next. Next? Who's next? Right, exactly. Oh, so exciting. Mm. Here we go. Time to cruise. Cruise it. What do you want to do first? Apollo reservations and lunch. 
I'm hungry, you? I could definitely eat. Yeah. It's a, it's a good place to be, you know, walk in, be a little bit hungry. They're gonna have food ready for it. Wow. So we're gonna get some of that food. And you know, one of my all-time favorite things. And we are heading in. Are uh, you excited, Mike? More than you can imagine. I cannot believe we're so close. It's so exciting. Yes, it's right there. Right there. Oh my gosh, feeling the energy right here. Here it comes. Ready to go. Here we go. How are you? Yeah, we're doing great. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Thank you. And we're, yes, officially on lobby board. Yes, made it. Also, we have the photo package. We heard that some of the characters on this cruise are some of the most amazing. Yes, the costumes. So we're looking forward to checking that out. We're gonna get pictures here right ahead. Looking forward to it. You know, some classic shots in front of the V ship. And then we're gonna get all kinds of great stuff inside. Yeah, let's do it. Steps from being on board the ship here. We have made it. Mike has touched the ship hull. And we are officially on the Disney Fantasy. Thank you very much. We are here in the lobby. It's absolutely beautiful for the Halloween at the High Seas. Look at all these decorations behind us. Absolutely love it. Just stepped on board here. Amazing, amazing tree. Look at all these decorations. Can't believe it. Really, really looking forward to all that there is on the cruise. Let's check it out. Love the decorations so far. Decorations you can't lose. And check out this Minnie Mouse right here. Minnie Mouse in, is that? Disney that's not themed for Halloween. The Maybe? Heading for the restaurant. Let's check out our reservations. See if we can get some lunch. Maybe Paolo can get on the books. We'll see what we got. So we were just looking into reservations for brunch here. Sadly, nothing available, but they will call us if something comes up. So nice to know there's sort of that backup line, if you will, be able to sort of keep our ears open. And some awesome artwork too while we're down here. Love some of these pieces. One of my priorities right there is to uh, solve this detective agency oh, question. Yeah. So we'll be doing this for sure. Sounds good. Another detail I'm noticing here is look at the pumpkin faces wow. on each and every window for the Halloween at the High Seas theming. Beautiful, beautiful theming right there. Walking down, this is a similar feel, similar sort of hallway. Uh, from the other ships, but yes, you know, Mike observed a little bit narrower. If you look at the ground, I like the tiles too. I'm not sure the tiles were quite like this, or if there even were tiles in the other ship. Maybe it was carpet in the other ship. I'm not sure, but I like it. So glad to be back. It's, so, <laughs> it's an amazing feeling. It is. It's so good. We'll see. We'll see if there's food available down here, or if not, we'll head on upstairs. But there will be food. Let's see some food. While Mike is checking for availability, looking at the menu here. It does look promising. You know, you got empanadas here, salmon, some entrees that look really good, sandwich, sirloin. I'm interested if it's open. Let's let's take a look. Check out this dining hall. The answer was a yes, by the way. It was indeed a yes. And we are walking through Animator's Palette for lunch. Love this spot. We're gonna eat here three times on our trip, plus today. Really excited for that. We are here at Animator's Palette. You saw that menu, it looked really, really good. I've got the beef empanadas, penne pasta, and the cheesecake, where Mike has the empanadas, the sirloin, and the carrot cake. So we've got a couple of waiter recommendations here. Really looking forward to giving it a shot. And you know I'm already excited for that food. It smells so good. We've got some bread here to get us started. So it's gonna all be delicious. Empanada here. Nice meat flavor right there in the middle. They've got some great salsa, some veggies in there with it. You've gotta have it with the chimichurri which adds exponentially. Fantastic, great way to get it started off. First appetizer for lunch. I'm glad we came down here so far. And Mike found this cheesy bread for our appetizer. Cheesy bread, so, so good too. So it's got a strong cheesy flavor to it. Give that one a shot. Mike had noticed that there was no caramel ruibos tea here on this trip. So we did both go for the blackcurrant breeze. So that's one I like quite a bit. Originally discovered that one at Cape May. Another one I like a lot, if you're looking for no caffeine, just sort of settling tea, is the lemon ginger tea they have here. So make sure you keep your eye open for the lemon ginger tea if you're looking for something a little bit more mild. No caffeine, that's sort of settling as well. I've got the pasta here, tomato sauce pasta with some goat cheese, some other kind of cheeses on there. One of our waiters recommended that, and the other waiter recommended Michael's steak over there. 
Looks really, really good. You know, it's a good size there. Looks like it's cooked beautifully. And that potato is very beautifully sort of shaped. So definitely a lot to look forward to here. Really looking forward to giving it a shot. Let's see how it goes. Trying the lunch here. The pasta's good. The tomato flavor is nice. I'm not blown away by it, but it looks pretty tasty. I think we're gonna be far more blown away by dinner. I tried a bit of Mike's steak as well, and again, it's good, but it's not the most flavorful, delicious steak we've had. So again, I'm, I'm still very hopeful that dinner will be what blows us away. Those empanadas, for me, I would get those again. This, I'd probably try something new. For dessert, we have the cookies and cream cheesecake for me right here, looks really good. And Mike has the carrot cake over there, both of which look fantastic. Really, really nicely done. That carrot cake looks so delicious. They both look really, really good. So looking forward to giving them both a shot. Let's see how they taste. Desserts, the cookies and cream cheesecake was okay. It was good. I would not get it again. I would try something new. Michael's carrot cake, that one on the other hand, I could see myself getting again. So if you're split between those two, get the carrot cake. You can always get both on the cruise. But you could get the carrot cake. That's what I would do. It was fantastic. Very, very good stuff. Overall, had a great time here at Animator's Palette. Overall thoughts at Animator's Palette, it was, it was good. It was good. I'm, I'm ready to be blown away by dinner. I'm ready to be really blown away by dinner. But it was good, I had a good time. Best part for me was those beef empanadas. Me too. I like that the best. You're on the same page? Yep. Okay. And second best would be Mike's dessert. Yeah, so those are those are our top recommendations here. Both of our entrees, you can, if you like that sort of thing, if you really want that, go for it. Otherwise, I would try something else. Next time, we'll try something else. Now off for more exciting adventures. <laughs> Let's see what's next on the list. And we have found our stateroom. So excited to be here on deck two midship. We found out there were certain elevators in the aft area that we couldn't take down to our floor. So it seems like uh, you can't get down to deck two in the aft part of the ship. So something to keep in mind on the newer ships. On the older ships, you still can. We actually stayed there on an older ship. So maybe they've changed that on the newer ships. You'll see we've got closets right here on our right. We've got the two bathroom type things behind us. A little bit of shower room right here, as you can see. You know, looks looks similar to the uh, the last one we saw, but uh, you gotta always appreciate that coloring. And they do have those bottles for uh, for hand soap and conditioner, shampoo, that kind of thing. The bottles that uh, you know sit in the shower, you can just kind of pump from. They also have looks like sea salt lotion here, a little lotion right here by the door. So that's pretty cool too. And you'll see that we're enjoying some fantastic views over here, right by the other side. We've got our bed, couch, and there is Mike right there, hey. enjoying that fantastic view. How's it look out there, Mike? Amazing, I love it. So, so awesome. So glad to be back. It's nice in here, nice and cozy. We should be able to fit to no problem. No problem. Looking forward to the whole adventure, yes. Now we're gonna change and get ready for the next part of our adventure, which is maybe some hot tub time. Oh yes. We are unpacking for our cruise adventure here. Mike recommended unpacking. And I could see the appeal as it makes you really get comfortable. You know, it doesn't make you feel like a trip or an adventure is ending. So it's nice to, uh, to try that. We'll see what I think of it, you know? Taking out some shirts here, got all kinds of good stuff. Some sunscreen, all sorts of good stuff, some shorts. So we will see how the unpacking experience adds to our adventure. A couple of hats here for me to possibly utilize on my adventure. You know, I'm not much of a hat wearer, but I wanted to have them in the event that I needed them. Now I also have travel bathroom stuff. So, you know, I was mentioning how you should, don't forget your toothbrush or your toothpaste, that sort of thing, your dental floss. I have a different set. So I like to pack this set early enough on so I don't forget. It's actually, uh, it's quite likely that I forget stuff like that. So something to keep in mind, you may wanna pack a secondary set or an extra set just in case. Got a couple more shirts here for matchers. You know, we got some matching tank tops, that white castaway key one. I don't think we've ever worn it. So I'm really excited for that one. A couple of awesome shirts in here as well. Gonna put that in my shirt drawer. Maybe I'll get a whole different section of the shirt drawer set up for the matching shirts. And we've got a couple more pants in here. And I'm just about done unpacking. I think I'm pretty much there. Put my belt off to the side. Gonna hang a couple of these things up in the closet. 
but it is it's a nice feeling even to unpack you know you're like okay yes we're, we're getting this adventure started you know although it does take time it's got a good feeling to it for sure and we have transformed into swim trunks for our swimming adventure looking forward to checking out that hot tub let's see how it goes and we are off mike leading the dance party boogie here on the way to check out the rest of the chip you know we're gonna do the hot tubs as well but i think we're on hold on hot tubs until things are done with the uh emergency prep briefing yes, yes. so we're gonna do that and then we'll check out the hot tubs yes. Taking a look off the deck of the ship for the first time here. Absolutely amazing views. You'll see another ship out there, carnival ship over there. All kinds of good stuff. You can see lots of cruisers ready to go again, maybe on the ground or on that other ship. And here on our ship, you know we like to cruise it, cruise it. We are so ready for our first ever adventure on the fantasy. So exciting, so much to see, so much to do. Again, never been on the ship before. Neither of us have been on this ship before. So really looking forward to it. And the other side of the deck here, just looking out at all of the sights on our cruise ship. What an amazing view of Port Canaveral. Oh my gosh, so excited for this cruise. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. So much to see, so much to do. It's, it's gonna be amazing. Just so excited for this one. Cannot imagine how excited I am here. Stepping outside. First time on deck 11 on the fantasy. Check out the aqueduct going all the way around the ship here. If you can see it, the aqueduct going all the way around, getting that dance party ready. So, so excited for it. It's just building the energy as we're going along here. Super, super excited. Really, really ready for this one. Oh my gosh, it feels more and more real with every second that passes. After sailing away, it's the most real, the most real. I'm wondering if it's kids or everybody. You got it, for kids. Everybody. Okay. Kids, oh, only kids? Uh, kids, yeah. Okay, well, I, I'd like to check it out too. I'm ready to see the adult one too. This is new, Flo's 8 Cafe here. Looks really good, Hawaiian pizza, that number one. Gotta love that Hawaiian pizza. Casa de la Tires, all kinds of good stuff here. Looking forward to checking it out. There's a bunch of, uh, other things for your sandwich and stuff like that behind us, like hamburgers. I like it. Looks like a cool spot. They got pizza, they got more pizza, and looks like pizza. Wait a second. This isn't a healthy way to start the adventure with ice cream. You're on vacation. Sugary beverages. It is. It's true. You got to break in the event.
of departure. I feel like we've been moving for a little bit longer than that, so I'm not sure if maybe we were just adjusting or that was the official sailing away once we exit a certain distance, I'm not sure, but now we're getting in the hot tub, relaxing, enjoying these views. Love it. All right. Stepping in. Oh, awesome, awesome spot. What great views. Let's take a look in there, see what those views look like. Mike, how are you liking it so far? Oh, yes. We are sailing away. Let's do it. As we're sailing away here, we've got a fantastic view of the fort as we're moving past it. And beneath us, you can see some of the ocean. I don't know if you can see that ocean view from there. Hopefully, you can. But absolutely fantastic spot on the newer ships to sail away from or just to enjoy at any point throughout yes. your adventure. Really, really love this one. Ah, looking forward to it. Great, great days to come here. And you can see our view from the adult-only jacuzzi out onto the port. Absolutely fantastic view. And beneath us, into the ocean, that little glass panel there that shows you, uh, again, the ocean beneath us. There's sort of the... Uh, the darker part, but also the transparent piece of glass there. Love being able to see beneath us just like that. Standing right there. What an awesome perspective. What an awesome view. All together. Love it. Is the hot tub one of your favorite spots on the cruise ship? Yes, it is. Yeah. And I love having it to ourselves like this. Yes. As we're getting ready to roll out, as we are rolling out, looking forward to all of the magic of this adventure. I think it's official now. It's official. Do you think there are any more waves on the way for us? Yeah. On the way for us? On the waves, like waves of the adventure. Oh yeah, first dinner, first sleep, first wake up. Oh yeah. But it's a, I, I feel like it's tough to get more official than this. But you're right, especially that first dinner is going to be so good. Waking up on the ship. Uh, oh yeah, so much to see. Castaway Key, one of my all-time favorites. Oh yeah, looking forward to it all. Although the older ships do have the advantage of proximity between the pool and the hot tub, I definitely much prefer the view from the hot tub looking out at the ocean and all the sights that we're passing by. Are you, Mike? Absolutely. Yeah. Check out those sights back there. Love it. That's good. Ooh. 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 I'm the hot guy, so the cold for me. Ooh. It's a little bit much. Yeah, I like it, though. It's, it's pretty good temperature in here, for sure. I like it. Okay. Several parts to this adult pool. Looks like there's a mist over here in the shallow area. Let's see how that goes. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. That's a thing. It's alright. It's okay. I mean, eh. That's what I sit here. That adds to the experience. Eh. Eh. Nothing special for me. It's uh, a little misty. You know, this is like a wading pool almost. You know, you just kind of walk through it and uh, get your feet wet. But the real pool, I think, is where the action's at. Get into the pool, check out the hot tub. Those are those are my favorite parts so far. So far. That pool's a great temperature. You know, it's not freezing. So uh, it is. You know, I'm pretty pleased with the temperature of the pool right now. It's probably because it's nice and toasty outside. I almost needed it to cool down. So it's probably heated up the pool a little bit. Because that natural sunlight. Let's head back to the pool. Mike was pointing out that me standing on my toes, I just barely have my head out of the water. Here's me standing on my feet. <laughs> If you're already short of the bead, like a 5'9", be careful. I had asked Mike about feeling the waves. I'm just feeling one more being in the pool. Hey, instead of the hot tub. Loving it. And we are back in the hot tub. My hot tub, the pool hot tub. I feel like this might be the way to do it now. It was hot out, so we got to cool down in the pool. Probably get some water after this, rehydrate. What do you think? Is this oh, way to do it? It's the way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely loving it. Great views in here again, just moving away from forts, you know, losing that last sight of land back there. You know, it is, it is just another way. They're always, you know, being in the pool over there and seeing everyone around us. Uh, was it really? Yeah, you're right. The waves will not be stopped though they were quite a while. Yeah. Just keep coming. And another view beneath the boat. Mike had noticed again in that hot tub. You got the lifeboats down there, the ocean, kind of where it meets the ship. Maybe waves coming off the ship. Awesome, love it. Another great catch by Mike, the pilot boat coming in here. He's in? Uh, just barely. He's just, just going out of frame here. I just lost him. My guy's got a sight. Hold on. Was the man who's actually called the boat to take this out. Well, 
Okay, bye. See you soon. That was cool too. I've never seen that. That was awesome. Enjoying the seating right here by the hot tub. Fantastic experience, just kicking back. I was thinking about this earlier and we talked about it just a little bit. I feel like you eat a little bit less healthy on a cruise ship. But I feel like, again, grabbing that first ice cream and that sort of thing really helps you feel immersed in the experience. So, you know, the, the desserts and that sort of thing on the cruise, I think I'm gonna let myself go on those, you know? Try not to eat too much kind of sugary type stuff. Mike approves, Mike approves of that message. Mike approves that one for sure. <laughs> Mike is all for me letting go and just eating whatever sugars on that ship. I'm gonna have to worry about it after I get off, but to be fully immersed and to really enjoy it, I don't wanna have to worry about any of those sorts of things. I probably won't eat as much dessert as like the whole thing, but we'll see, you know, I'm just gonna enjoy it, not worry about it, and it'll be a great time. Oh, already loving it so far, you know, this is, this is probably one of my favorite spots, you know, just this hot tub view, kicking back here, whichever way you're looking. It's always a winner for sure. Always a winner. Now I have the view. You had the view a minute ago. Now I have the view. We can both have the view. How about that? Just open ocean here. Absolutely love that view. You saw the view beneath us. Gotta love that view as well. And Mike here, relaxing, taking a break from the heat. You wanna make sure that you're not getting too much hot tub time. If you feel like it's a little bit too hot for you, make sure you get out, maybe switch it up, try the pool. Go back and forth. I did like that today. So that's just an idea for you. Make sure you're not getting too much heat. I am feeling real good in here right now. Maybe I'll get out in a minute or two. But feeling pretty good right now. And we've got our pseudo infinity effect here. Where it kind of meets the water of the hot tub. Meets that glass. Which then meets the ocean in a sense. Kind of a pseudo, you know, infinity pool. But uh, love the view. There's birds out there flying. You can see some birds. I saw a little white spot come up in there. Maybe that's a whale. I think I saw like a whale way back there. A couple of white caps, yeah, something like that. Student hot tubs right now, beyond just the one, you can try all sorts of cool stuff. I like to go between the hot tubs, just kind of see both sides of the view. Practice your dolphin flies, I love it. Kicking back here, relaxing, just enjoying the views. And Mike and I both noticed that not only in the hot tub, but also on the ground, they have those little glass windows that you can sort of look out into the ocean. I really like that view. I feel like that really adds. So maybe we'll go over there in a minute and take a look in there. But for now, just kind of kicking back. Now. And we've got ourselves a quick snack here, some fries. We've got some wraps, little wraps to try. The tuna, the chicken, and the Greek, I believe. We've also got a couple celery sticks and carrot sticks, all kinds of sauces, some ranch, some mayo, some ketchup, some barbecue. Mike, are you ready for these snacks? So ready, let's do it. I think it'll be the perfect amount of food for us. You know, just uh, enough to tide us over until dinner in a couple hours. Yep. Let's try it. Overall thoughts of the wraps. Mike, let's hear what you think. They were okay. I definitely wouldn't get them again. I'd try something else. Yeah. Not, not really worth, worth it. Yeah, they're okay. You know, if you want something healthier, the Greek wrap, you know, has some veggies in it. But I, none of them would I get again or go out of my way for by any means. Next time I want to try that spicy chicken sandwich for sure. That one looks good. I want to try that. Hamburgers as well. There's, there's all kinds of good stuff over there. The carrots I found were very... Dry. dry, soggy, firm, that sort of thing. Did not love the carrots. The celery stick was quite good. So I guess it just depends on the day with those vegetables. So if you're looking for some vegetables, healthy stuff, the, uh, the celery sticks are great. Helps that they have the ranch as well. And looking forward to all the delicious stuff that come tonight. Oh yes. Last piece to touch on is these fries. They're they're only okay as well. They're, they're not the freshest, you know, they're okay. Not super flavorful or salty or potato-y, so not bad, but I doubt we're gonna go for too many of these items again next time. And after the fastest shower and change ever, <laughs> we are running off to catch our show, which starts in one minute. And hopefully it'll all be good. Okay, who'll be Here. close? And we saw the fantasy show. Mike, what did you think? I liked it, I liked it. You know, it was a good introductory show. It's kind of you introduce yourself to the fantasy, things to do, things to see, and yeah. great to see Mickey and the gang. Yeah, definitely great to see the characters. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not my number number one of all the shows of but uh, it was nice to be able to see and experience that show and and yeah if you're new to cruising it's a great way to learn more about what's going on and and all the things that are available to you and there were certain things on the fantasy i wasn't aware of right yeah. like the that other club for adults oh yes yeah, the things. tube so, so many things cool. we have to see for the first time for sure <laughs>
ten girls of every age Would you like to see something strange? Come with us and you will see This tree lighting in the lobby Ah, good! Tree lighting lobby Tree lighting lobby Lobby, 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 lobby. Tree light in lobby, tree light in lobby. Just to adjust. On our cruise, tree lighting, everyone to the pumpkin light. Ooh. This is tree lighting, this is tree lighting. Tree lighting, tree lighting, tree lighting, tree lighting. Tree lighting. Ooh. Ooh. It is almost time. different vibe here in Animator's Palette at night. It's uh, it's nice lighting. I like the lighting a lot. And we are situated here in Animator's Palette. Looking forward to the dinner menu. Let's do it. So Mike is telling me that I should not only get the black truffle pasta, I should get two orders of the black truffle pasta. It's that good. 
So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. You know, trusting trusting Mike's judgment here. But I'm excited to see how good that one is. Here trying the bread at Animator's Palette. First of all, love Animator's Palette. Glad we're getting this one three times. Really like the bread. The olive oil mix there is good. It's best in moderation. So I feel like it's, you know, you start to feel it after a while. It almost feels heavy. So you want to make sure you don't take too much of that olive oil mixture. But it is delicious stuff. Yeah! Check out the 360 bread with the double dutch crust from the turtle. All totally hang together. That's cool. Say chaw. Ch 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 Come on in. Still squirt. Big man. Everyone say hello, Dory. Hello, Dory. You too, Jelly Man. Oh, hello, human. Dory. Oh, let's go think of some games we can play with them, okay? Cool. Let's. Hey, Mr. Ray. We've got Mike's black shape. truffle pasta. And you try to guess Wallow what shape they're making. Perfect that sense. sounds like a fun game. Well, this is this is a good suggestion for Mike. Love the black truffle pasta. I don't know if I can get through two of them, but it is a fantastic dish for sure. It really is good pasta. Really, really good pasta. But it sounds like not as amazing as Mike might remember. And I like it a lot. I would get it again, but I would not get a double. You know, I. I I like it, and it is small. It is definitely a small portion, but uh, I think it's good. It's definitely an appetizer I would get again. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not sure I would get it twice over, although I did eat it all, and it was delicious. Full world thoughts on a steak here? Just keep eating. Just keep eating. Thanks, Moonfish! Overall thoughts here on the steak. It's good. It's a good steak. It's definitely better than the steak we had for lunch. But I'm not blown away by it. I feel like we're going to have even better steaks on this adventure. I'm just going to keep eating. Just keep eating. But uh, looking forward to trying all the rest of the menus on the trip as well. Here's Sage Hall. Sounds totally good, dude. Oh. Right behind you, dude. Yeah, I'm all thanks to Turgay. Hi, dude. Hi, dude. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, totally awesome. I'm oh, really good, dude. Hey, dude, what is your name, dude? Sorry, say that again, dude. Oh, that's an awesome name, dude. Hey, where are you from? Kentucky. Kentucky. That's uh, totally awesome. We have some uh, righteous waves in the Kentucky. There you go. <laughs> yeah, how did you get here? <laughs> On a plane? What's that, you? Is that like a bird? I didn't even know a human dudes could fly, dude. That's totally righteous. <laughs> hey, uh, as you don't have any wings over there, what about we make a wave? Put our fins up in the air and say, whoa! Yeah. All right, totally awesome. Let's do it one more time. Whoa! Yeah. Right, you dudes, got it. Now let's see if we can send it all the way to the other side of the human tank. Okay, let's, let's have it. And for dessert. We have the lemon ice box pie, and Mike has the, was that a walnut chocolate cake. cake? Looks really, really good. Check those out. Looking forward to giving them a shot. Right, yeah. oh, Celebrating not being at work! Yeah! yeah. Oh, totally awesome. Do, 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 do. All right, dudes. Hey, righteous. Righteous. Up on your feet, dudes. Stand up. Big dudes. Big dudes. Stand up. This is going to be totally fun. Oh, that's totally. Let's put your pockets. There we go. Love it. Totally. Totally. Mike, what did you think of dinner tonight in Animator's Palace? It was fun, but I remember the food being better. Yeah. I really do. So, you know, there's a lot more cruising ahead of us, though. So, a lot more opportunities for good food. Yep. I'm right there with you. You know, it was very good. Very good. But I'm expecting, from cruises, food-wise, I'm expecting mind-blowingly excellent. So we'll, we'll keep seeing what's out there on future menus. Now, what did you think of Animator's Palette, though? Oh, I love it. I yep. love the theme in Animator's Palette. It's one of my favorites. Chaw. Chaw. I thought it was totally. Totally sweet. Totally sweet, dude. Right, Chaw. Dude. Awesome.
Walking around looking at some of the shops here right by at Walt Disney Theater. A lot of similar shop names as we've seen before, but the shops are much larger. So it is a lot to check out, lots of cool stuff to see. But Lovin just taking this time after dinner to explore and to see it all. Just saw the adult only areas. Really cool to check that out, see some of the theming there. Now walking on the deck here along the deck at night. It's really a different feel, you know, completely pitch black out there. You can kind of see the ocean moving. It's, it's definitely a cool look to it for sure. All right, let's check out the views in the elevator here. Look at all this theming on the walls. I don't know if you've seen this. This one looks like one I've seen before. So I feel like the different elevators actually have different ones. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's, uh, that's definitely worth noting. Jack 11. Jack 11 made it all the way up and those are the decals. Hope you've enjoyed this decal journey. Near the end of the night here, enjoying a little bit of TV, Ant-Man and the Wasp, while we're just looking out at the ship, just sort of appreciating the views, seeing all there is to see. You can see the aqueduct lit up there at night. Just enjoying it all. After dinner, got a couple more pictures, saw a little bit of funnel vision. Great view up there on the 11th deck, I believe. Great, great stuff. Got some water, some soda, maybe a little bit of ice cream or something. A little bit. And I believe that will conclude our evening. So, until tomorrow. Have a magical night. And play on. Looking forward to sharing so much more fun with you tomorrow. See you soon. And we have found our stateroom. So excited to be here in the ship. Midship, friendship, I don't know. We are mid uh, midship. Or someone will text, and then we'll see how texting adds to our adventure. And we saw the fantasy show. Yes. That's what it's called? Okay.